Hey everybody, today's video is going to be my November wax empties. I did get through quite a bit. I still wasn't um, quite into my Christmas scents yet. Um, so some of this is still pumpkin, that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got through. I'm going to start with the kind of one-off thing. So the first thing I have here is from Hayden Road. This is in the scent Cider Lane. Um, we all know what Cider Lane is, and this was a really good blend. It was really strong, and I did like it. Next up, I have Pomegranate Noir from The Bathing Garden. I don't know how I got this. I can't remember if I got it in, like, some kind of de-stash or what it was. Um, I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for the Joe Malone scent. I did like this, but I didn't love it. Um, it's definitely a perfumey pomegranate scent, but it also has like a, a ambery type note to it. I don't know. I just didn't care for it that much. I probably wouldn't repurchase that, but that one was a good thrower. I have one from Sugar and Spice in the scent Blueberry Brown Sugar Cinnamon Pie Crust. Um, I did melt this and... This one was a really good thrower as all sugar and spice is, but it was really unfortunate to me that I really could not get very much um, of the pie crust or the cinnamon, to be honest. This kind of smelled, first of all, her blueberry is a little bit more tart, and I think I'm starting to find that I don't really like her blueberry as much, but um, it's a little bit more tart, so I definitely got that right off the bat. But I just wanted more of a um, gourmand intense bakery note. I got a little bit of the brown sugar, but like the cinnamon and pie grass was just like non-existent. I probably wouldn't um, do that blend again. That was a blend I came up with myself. So, And then from Simo's, I melted pumpkin pecan waffle bake, which of course is some type of pumpkin pecan waffle blend. This was so good, you guys. So it was like pumpkin pecan waffle blended with something else. I don't know what it was. All I know is, yes, it's so buttery, so decadent, so rich. It was so delicious smelling, and it was a very strong thrower. So I was really, really happy with that one. I did get through one clam from Sensationals. This was in Apple Pumpkin Spice. This is just your basic generic kind of apple pumpkin spice scent. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Harvest Moon, which I bought a ton of when that scent came out. And I think this was actually noted as a dupe by some people. So I really liked it. I think I'm just over Harvest Moon, over um, this type of scent. This for me was definitely not anything like the picture, like it's not very bakery. For me, Harvest Moon always smelled like um, Cider Lane with a more amped up apple, and that's exactly what this smells like. So it smells good, but not something I need to run out and get more of. I got through some of my Sassy Girl brittles. Um, the first one here is Autumn Flannel. This is Smoky Wood Cinnamon and Clove Sweetened with a little vanilla bean and caramel. Um, I thought that this was going to be way too smoky, but I actually ended up really loving um, this blend. It was smoky, but the sweetness really came through, and I did some blending of it with um, Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire, which I'm going to get to here in a moment. And it was just good. The smokiness in this was not too much. It was sweetened up and it was amazing. I get why so many people really like that blend now. I also got through Fall Yoga Pants by The Fire, which is Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Marshmallow Fireside. This is amazing. A tried and true blend um, from Sassy Girl. I feel like the scent has been around for a while. I really do love it. It smells so good. Um, there's really just not a better combo than those three. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. These were also really good throwers. And then finally, I have Horror Film, which is Juicy Blackberries, Vermont Maple Toffee, and Creamy Butter Mingle with Rich Vanilla Cream and Sugary Cotton Candy. This one was not a fave for me. Um, 
unfortunately, it just smelled to me like... You definitely got the blackberry, but the other thing that really came through super strongly was kind of like the maple toffee note. But I don't know. It's like I expected this to be more sugary, like with the cotton candy and the vanilla. And this just seemed like, it seemed like really intense cooked down blackberries, which for some people is probably really good. And it didn't smell bad by any means. It's just not what I anticipated. Um, again, Sassy Girl Aroma's blackberry. I think I've said it before. It's super strong and um, comes through really strongly in blends. So maybe um, if other some of the other scents balanced it a little better, I might have liked it better. Um, so it was a good blend, good thrower, just not a favorite for me. Um, I did get through one Wonderberry, which was in the scent Sweet Potato Pie. Oops. And this is Candy DMs, Marshmallow Fluff, Brown Sugar, Orange Zest, Warm Spices, and Pie Crust. This one was okay. Um, I really wanted to love this, but the throw just wasn't there for me for this scent. I really wanted to smell all those yummy scents within this blend and they just didn't come through so that's that one wonderberry is no longer open um let's see we'll do this i have some from perfect scents this is honey i bake some cookies this is drippy honey amaretto and sugar cookies this one was really strong and really good if you like honey and amaretto. It was very strong on that. You did get the sugar cookie note, but definitely the strongest notes in this were honey and amaretto. Um, it did smell really good. Um, it was very rich, very decadent. Um, just not a scent blend I would probably go for again, but I did enjoy it while I had it. Also from Perfect Sense, I got through Gooey Caramel Cookie. This is Ooey Gooey Caramel and Sugar Cookies. Now, this one was absolutely amazing. I loved this blend. It literally is exactly what it says, rich, decadent caramel and sugar cookies. And it was a perfect blend, super strong, would repurchase this immediately. <laughs> and then I also got through this Scent Shot and Coffee Cake which is sweet coffee cake and fresh coffee. This one also smelled really good, really strong. I like this one because um, uh, the coffee, the coffee cake came through really well. But one thing I do have to say about this one is something about this um, reminded me of pistachio. I get some kind of pistachio scent um, in this blend. And I mean, I liked it, I enjoyed it. It still smelled really good. I did get um, coffee cake and coffee within the blend, but there was definitely an undertone of a pistachio, almost um, almondy pistachio cherry type note. Um, yeah, but I really liked it. Let's see here. I have some nanes here. So the first one is vanilla butter fudge. This is one that's used in many blends. It did smell good, but it was a poor performer. Butter cake, and this is one that smelled really good, and this one performed really well as well. What I have been doing with this, with these blends, is because they're really small. You know, if you've ever bought the Nene's Kitchen, um, Kitchen Melts, did I say that earlier? I hope I, I feel like I might have said Nana makes sense, but I'm talking about Nene's or Nene's Kitchen Melts. Um, anyhow, I have been like breaking these up and put using them in my Scentsy Accord because I find my Scentsy Accord throws wax um, further and stronger when there's not a lot in the little dishes. So um, at the most, I'll put like two of these in there and these work really well in that. Um, and again, this one was a good thrower. Maple Sticky Buns, I really liked this one. I blended this with some of Nene's Palo Santo as well. And it smelled really good. Really enjoyed this scent as well. Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Throw was pretty much non-existent on that one. Same with Vanilla Bake. I just did not get a good throw from this one. And then finally, I have Cinnamon Dolce Latte, which... 
um, was also really good. I blended this with Palo Santo as well, and it was a good thrower, really good blend. Um, I'm finding with Nene's that I'm not getting sufficient throw from the majority of the scents. It's not a vendor I feel like um, I would repurchase from for that reason. I really loved the Palo Santo and the, a lot of the coffee blends have done really well for me. But virtually everything else has been a, a minimal or non-existent throw. So that's not going to work for me. Um, let's see. We'll do a couple of Wolf Wicks. So I have Reaper, which I can't recall what this is, but I feel like it is. I don't know. It smells like Cider Lane. It's definitely a fall blend. For some reason, I thought there was a bakery note in this, but Reaper smells so good. I've melted this one before already and love this blend. It's a really good fall, sweet fall blend if you like that. And then I have Toddy Pie. Again, sorry, I don't have scent notes for these, but um, this is another one that threw really well. Yeah, I'm not sure what's in it, but it smells warm. It smells like homey and inviting. And I really enjoyed it as well. And this is another one that I've melted before. So that is Wolf Wicks. Um, I do have one from Centennial Chic Scents. This is Caramel Apple. Um, I didn't like this blend. Um, this is definitely a much more rich, less sweet Caramel Apple scent. Um, I don't know if it's like green apple or what, but... I mean, I guess it's possible it could be Mac Apple. It just doesn't smell as sweet to me as like a Mac Apple with caramel. Um, it was a good thrower. Performed pretty well. Um, performed really well, but I, yeah, I just didn't. There's plenty of other caramel apple blends I prefer. I do have a few from Wax Incredibles. This is Tiffany's at the... I think that's supposed to be at the carnival. Cupcake at Tiffany's and Sweet Funnel Cakes. This one was really nice. I love Wax Incredibles um, Cupcake at Tiffany scent and blended with her funnel cake. It was really nice, really rich, and very strong. I melted a couple of samples. One in Vanilla Pumpkin Apple Crunch. Um, this one was okay. I think my issue with this one is that it smelled... Like you get the warm vanilla sugar really strongly in this um, and not so much the pumpkin cookie or the apple butter. So that's mainly what I smelled, which is fine. I like warm vanilla sugar, but when you're expecting to get this kind of rich, um, intense fall bakery blend, um, you know, that's just what I was anticipating. It was a good thrower though. <clears throat> I melted cinnamon Irish cream, which is French vanilla Irish cream laced with hints of sweet cinnamon. Absolutely loved this one as well. It was a creamy, yeah, creamy kind of cinnamon vanilla blend. You get that kind of distinct Irish cream scent, but it was really just a rich vanilla with cinnamon and then that undertone of Irish cream, really strong and really good. And then I did get through one bag in Absolutely Fabulous Cake, rich and moist with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream, toasted coconut, sweet vanilla, and mounds of sweet buttercream frosting. This unfortunately didn't as smell as good as it has in times past. Um, it was still really strong, but it almost smells like it has an alcohol note in it or a boozy note to it. Um, Normally, this has always smelled like a rich, creamy, vanilla, coconut um, cake. But this smells like um, like a boozy... I mean, you get the coconut, but it almost smells like stale coconut and then some type of boozy note to it. Um, I didn't enjoy this one. I probably... I mean, I've purchased this many times, so it's weird to say I wouldn't get it again. But yeah, something wasn't right with it this time, and I didn't enjoy it. Next, I have Midnight Daydream. This is Extreme Pecan Waffles. This was Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Baker's Dozen. I don't know what Baker's Dozen is, but this one was really good. If you love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, you will love this. Um, to me, it just smelled like a more intense version of pumpkin pecan waffles, which I assume is what um, they were going for. So 
I enjoyed that one. I have two circus treats. Cotton candy frosting, kettle corn, and candy pecans. This is one that I purchased in error, and then I purchased two of them. And I actually ended up really enjoying this. So when I melted it upstairs, because that's where I melted it, um, the cotton candy is what came through the strongest. You got a little bit of nuttiness from the pecans. I really didn't get much kettle corn. Um, I just thought it was a sweet, you know, kind of fair scent. And it smelled really good. So I enjoyed that one more than I thought I would. And then the last one I melted from Midnight Daydream is Cider Lane and Candy Corn. This one was amazing. I had no doubt it would be. Um, I love Cider Lane, as I've said a million times. Um, it is really strong in here, but you definitely get that buttery kind of honey scent from the candy corn. And I absolutely loved this blend. So enjoyed that. Um, I do have one candle. This is, let me get it in the shot, Goose Creek uh, Trick or Treat. Oops, sorry. There aren't the scent descriptions on, his, on this, but I feel like it's some type of apple blend. And... <clears throat> so this is what it looks like after fully burning. I did have to, <coughs> excuse me, I did have to wipe this out a couple times because the soot was just too much. Um, that's what the wicks look like. It did burn all the way down, but um, the wicks kind of shifted, um, as you can see there. And I just, did not enjoy my experience with this candle. I know a lot of people love um, love Goose Creek uh, candles. And this was my first time purchasing them. But yeah, I just didn't enjoy it. I thought the scent throw was very minimal. I did have it downstairs in an open area in my living room. Um, but yeah, I could smell it, kind of. But it just really was not that great, especially given the soot issues and the, I would literally cut these wicks down to nubs and they would still just be billowing soot. And so, yeah, I still have three candles from Goose Creek, um, or maybe four, I'm not sure. But um, the soot is just out of control, like... <laughs> Um, the only time I usually get soot like that is when I literally just don't really pay attention to the candle and let it burn and burn and burn. Um, I've also noticed a lot of people talking about how the wax becomes discolored, which it's not as noticeable in here because it got burned all the way down. But in this candle, and I think there's two other ones that I started but didn't get to finish for the season... Um, literally the layer that actually melted is a completely different color. I don't know why that is or if it even matters, but I just feel like it's something that should be mentioned. I just, um, yeah, didn't enjoy my experience with this candle and don't really desire to buy any more. And then finally, I have some Avas. I got through quite a bit of Avas. The first one is Monster Mash. I can't remember the scent notes for this, but um, I believe it's some kind of pumpkin pecan waffle blend or something. Love this. Love Monster Mash. It's a really yummy, sweet um, fall bakery blend. I also melted vanilla bean Christmas cookies. This one was so yummy. I melted this down in my basement, and yeah, it smells so good. Um... It is like her sugar cookie scent with that vanilla bean. It's just been intensified, but you get the bakery from the sugar cookie, and it was just really, really yummy. I love that one. I also melted an apple fritter zucchini donuts. This scent is so good. To me, um, when I melt this, it reminds me of fall. Um... I don't know what it is about it. It must be the spice from the from the actual apple fritters, I guess. But this scent is so good. But for me, it just reads as a fall blend. I That's not to say I wouldn't melt more of it. I think I still have a couple packs of this. But this is such a good blend. If you like apple fritter, if you like her zucchini, 
I won't necessarily say I get like a donut note. It's just apple fritter zucchini bakery goodness and it's so good. Love it. I have a little sample I melted in Monster Mash. I have another little sample I melted in Haunted House. Um, and yeah, this one I liked. I can't remember what's in it, but I did enjoy this one and it is a strong thrower. Ava's gives so many samples that if you, like, if I really want to knock out a lot of stuff from her, I can just melt a bunch of samples. I melted almond pistachio cookie dough. This was another good blend. If you like pistachio, you would really like this. Um, her pistachio does have a, a cherry note, but to me it's not too much. Sometimes I can't deal with that, but did enjoy that one. Fall frosting, I've talked about this one. I think it like has some maple in it or something. Really good blend. I have this in a larger um, quantity that I'm saving for next year. Fall baking at Tiffany's. This one was so good, and I think I have a bag of it, so I'm glad about that. This is like a, a, a cupcake at Tiffany's blend. Can't remember what the fall baking part is. Um, her scent list is very up to date if you want to check it out or check out one of my old hauls. But this one was so good, you guys. Um, yeah, just a really good decadent bakery scent. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> Sugar cookie zucchini. This is another one that smelled really good. I still don't know how this is different from Ultimate Zucchini. But I love it. It smells so good. Very bewitching brew. This is one that I, it was a really strong thrower, but I didn't love it. Yeah, this is one of those more fruity, like kind of like dark fruit blends, which they aren't bad, but they're not my favorite. So I didn't love this scent, but it did smell really good. And then I have Fireside Frosting, which is kind of like a smokier buttercream frosting. This one was amazing. It's like Marshmallow Fireside mixed with buttercream. So strong and delicious. And finally, I have Pumpkin Pancakes. This one was so good. It actually smelled edible, like real pumpkin pancakes. And it was a strong thrower, and I loved it. And that is everything, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.